Welcome back to Inside Railcats Baseball, and no, this isn't U.S. Steel Yard. It's the Radisson Hotel at Star Plaza, site of this year's Railcats Fan Fest. Or more precisely, this will be the site of the 2010 Fan Fest as we move downstairs to a much more spacious ballroom this year to bring even more Railcat fans out to this beautiful hotel. In fact, you can almost picture the main stage here and the speed pitch there and the baseball clinics in here. Just like last year, the Fan Fest will begin at 10 a.m. and if any lesson was learned from last season, it's to get in line early if you want to get some of the great free collectibles. The first 500 adults to walk through the doors in 2010 will get a free FanFest t-shirt, while the first 500 kids aged 12 and under will get a free Railcats baseball, perfect for collecting those autographs. On top of those giveaways, the first 1,000 guests also get a collectible poster with a collage of Railcats photos, a souvenir program with information on all the special guests, and a ticket to see opening day 2010 at U.S. Steelyard, Thursday, May 20th at 7 p.m. against the Kansas City T-Bones. Well, I, th I think there's a couple things, Andy. Uh, first of all, is it's during the middle of the winter, you know, so everybody has that uh, bug by the end of February to, to have baseball in at least the mindset, and it brings people together with rail cats. The Fan Fest begins with opening ceremonies that include a rundown of the day's activities, a formal introduction from Railcats owner Pat Salvi, and from the public address voice of the Railcats, Tommy Williams, plus a few other special surprises. Remember, a complete lineup of guests is available at RailcatsBaseball.com. You know, it's interesting, when we first talked about this the first year, last year, we uh, weren't, weren't sure really what the reaction were gonna, was going to be of the players. and. You know, I was amazed how many players wanted to come to it. And as you said, not just current players or guys who were here two years ago, but guys that way back from the first season. Um, and, and they're excited about it. And then, you know, the second year going after the first year, which was such a big success, uh, we've got players, make sure you call me for the Fan Fest. I want to come up for the Fan Fest. And, and I think from their perspective, uh, it, it's an opportunity to interact with some of the players that they may have not seen for a couple years, you know. After the kickoff, make your way to the various breakout sessions like question and answer forums, autograph sessions, and player clinics. The Q&As are your chance to ask Railcats President and GM Roger Wexelberg, owner Pat Salvi, manager Greg Taggart, and a bevy of current and former players anything you want, from the most in-depth baseball questions to what their favorite movies and TV shows are. Then stop in at an autograph session where you can pose for photos with players, coaches, and of course Rusty and Rascal while they sign your poster, program, baseball, or whatever else you've got on you. Finally, make sure the kids dress the part for baseball clinics from those who know best, Railcats players and coaches. FanFest is the only place in Northwest Indiana youngsters can get pitching, hitting, fielding, base running, catching advice, and more from professional baseball players at no additional cost. All those lessons are included with the price of a ticket. Just don't forget to bring your own mitt to the Radisson. We've always got surprises. You know, last year we unveiled uniforms. This year I think uh, maybe we'll have some signings that people aren't expecting. Uh, um, but it went so well last year, so most of the things are, are going to be basically the same with the autograph sessions and the Q&A. The 2010 Fan Fest will also feature a couple of new activities, starting with a fun-for-all scavenger hunt. Get to the Fan Fest early to pick up a game card, then complete as many tasks as you can by the end of the day with those who come up with the most right answers earning fabulous Railcat prizes. If hunting's not your thing, how about broadcasting? The Railcats, in conjunction with 89.1 FM The Lakeshore, the radio flagship of Railcats Baseball, are giving one lucky Cats fan the chance to be a play-by-play -play broadcaster for a day during the season. And tryouts will be held at FanFest and judged by former Railcats broadcasters, local radio celebrities, and yours truly. Last year, the Fan Fest was a tremendous success. Uh, people had a great time, and, and this year we're expecting bigger and better things. We've got um, a dozen players already committed, uh, and I think we're going to end up with about 20 of our former players there. It's just a fun opportunity for fans to come out and interact with players and see the staff and, and uh, have fun with the Railcats. It's a lot of fun. The mascots. Uh, are always very prevalent at these events and it's just fun. February 20th, it's uh, at the Radisson. It's a great time. <laughs>